Have you ever woke up in the morning extremely excited for what you're about to do? This is one of those days for me. When I woke up yesterday morning, drinking fresh homemade grape juice was not on the top of my list. As a matter of fact, it wasn't even on my list at all. As I was doing my morning cruise through YouTube, a notification caught my eye. I watched a video and I got inspired. So, Mr. J. Charles Outdoors, to your health, sir, and your third generation grape juice recipe. Cheers. This stuff is good. So I basically just followed his recipe and I'd like to show you how I did that. But what I don't have is a really cool story about a third generation recipe and grapevines that I picked from my grandfather. So if you want to hear a really cool story, go check out J. Charles Outdoors, because he's got it. It's inspiring. It's a good story. And now that I've told you guys how I got inspired, I'd like to show you how I made this. <laughs> You know what's awesome is I'm out here picking grapes and I get to do this. This is the first year our food forest is producing fruit. The vision of all this is finally starting to take shape. Mmm. All right, let's go make some grape juice. Once we picked all the grapes, it was time to sort through them pulling out all the stems and undesirable grapes. This takes time, but I had a good helper and we had fun sorting through all the grapes that we had grown. When it was all said and done, our first harvest of grapes gave us five pounds. Using a modern, high-tech potato masher, I gently pressed the grapes, using care not to break the seeds. Once pressed, I add enough water to cover the grapes. And I used half a cup of sugar for five pounds of grapes. Now it's time to bring this concoction to a simmer over medium heat. Being careful not to scorch it, we keep stirring. This takes some time, but again, this is fun to do and I had a good helper. It was fun to watch the colors start to come out. After 20 minutes of simmering, it was time to strain the juice. Then I run it through a sieve. All the leftover pulp and sediment is given to our chickens and nothing here goes to waste. We ended up with roughly two quarts of juice from five pounds of grapes. I think that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. After the juice is strained, it's poured into a container, set aside to cool, and then put in the refrigerator to chill overnight. Which brings us back to here the next morning. And I have to tell you guys, this is the best glass of grape juice I've ever had in my life. Ever. Thank you again, Charles. Cheers.